Okay, on my desk, I have the RAM 2000, which is a monitor controller. I've been working with this one for maybe like three years or so. Amazing controller. However, with my new setup, I'm not using most of the features. So I need maybe a smaller one. And Heritage Audio just sent me the RAM 2000 that just came out. This one is an in-between version of the RAM 2000 and the Baby RAM. Is it the Baby RAM that, is, that it's called? So I'm gonna open this one up, check what we have, try it out myself and decide afterwards if I'm gonna replace my 2000 with the RAM 1000. So let's do it. All right. Okay. So that's pretty nice. So thanks for your purchase. Then USB-C cables and uh, there you go. Look at that. That is actually very nice. Very good looking monitor controller. The size is just perfect. I think it's gonna fit well on my desk. Okay, the buttons, they feel pretty, pretty nice. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna go and hook it up and see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect this. So I have two cables. Uh, there's a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-C to USB-A cable. This is to power up the uh, RAM 1000. So there's no power supply or uh, a power cable. Everything is done with these little guys. And uh, this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna try the USB-C to USB-A and I have like a bunch of USB power connectors here and we'll see if that is gonna do the trick. Okay, so everything seems to work well. First of all, using a USB cable to power the RAM 1000, honestly, I like that. One less unit to connect to my power bar and I have USB power straight on my USB bar on my desk. So for me, it's pretty practical. Now the size is good. It's a nice, small, compact uh, monitor controller. You know, it's pretty straightforward as far as the features goes. Okay, so we have a mono, a mute, dim, all pretty practical. I can connect my phone via Bluetooth straight on the RAM 1000. Easy to sync also. Now, the only thing I'm gonna need to connect right away before I can uh, sync my phone uh, via Bluetooth is this little antenna, which I'm gonna do right now. And from this point, I don't know if you see it, but I see the RAM 1000 at the bottom that I can pair with right away. And that's it, it's active. So on top, I have the input buttons. If I want to listen to what's coming out of my phone, since it's now connected to the RAM 1000, I click the Bluetooth button, uh, or I can just uh, click on the uh, input one or input two. So I have two sets of stereo inputs. Uh, and I'm using the second one uh, right now. And same for the outputs. I have two pairs of outputs, which is great. So I could connect two sets of speakers uh, easily to interfaces if I wanted to, straight into this controller. Then I have my uh, levels for my headphones and the headphone amp is pretty clean, by the way. Um, love it, works well, sounds great. And you know, it's not noisy whatsoever. It has a very clean sound and that works for me. Now it doesn't have a sub output like I have on the 2000. Now the size for me is perfect for my desk. So, you know, I think I'm gonna keep it on the desk for the time being, see how it goes. Um, but honestly, um, just for the size, it's gonna be hard to get back to the old one. Now, you're probably gonna ask me, why uh, do you downsize your monitor controller? Now, I moved from my bigger studio to this home studio that is in the basement. I don't have the same needs. I don't have extra rooms to record. If I do some uh, recording, I do it straight from the same room I'm mixing. So having a talk back is useless. Having a Q-Mix system also is useless for me. You know, all of my Q-Mixes are done straight from Cubase. So those are all the features that I had on the 2000 that I don't need anymore. So uh, it just takes a bit too much space on my desk. And the BB RAM is just a bit too limited for my needs. 
So the 1000 is actually the perfect fit for now anyway. So I'm going to try it out and you'll see it in my videos. If you still see me working with the 1000, you'll see that I like it pretty much. Now, the main feature is that Marconi type big knob that we have right in the center. It's the analog vintage type of knob which is quite nice. I had that also on the Ram 2000. And if you listen, it actually increases and decreases the volume by steps. Okay, compared to the 2000, which was a bit more linear, you know, uh, when it was connected, you can hear small clicks going on. Uh, but a bit more smooth, I would say, okay? Um, I kind of like this system from the 2000 better than the one on the 1000. But again, it's not like a huge deal though, you know? Not a deal breaker whatsoever. Some will like it, some will not. The build itself, super solid, you know, made out of metal, um, which is quite nice. It's robust and I kind of like that type of build. And on top, we also have the input level meter, which is pretty straightforward. So if we look at the back of the unit, we have two TRS and two XLR outputs and same for the inputs, two XLR and two TRS inputs. We can use them at the same time or one at a time, depending on what we select as far as the input buttons and output buttons goes. And at the center, we have the headphone outputs, uh, which is at the back of the unit. This is a bit different. Instead of connecting the headphones at the front, you connect it at the back of the unit, which makes the front of the Ram 1000 pretty clean, okay, which is not a bad thing. Now, the first output has a uh, special switch here, which is called REC, and that will switch the routing of output one straight to a recording device like your sound interface. So that could be a fast way to plug in an instrument to rehearse along a mix. And you just simply need to route it to your interface and that's it, you're good to go. So it might be useful for some, for myself, not really, but it's there if you need it. And then we have the USB-C power connector right at the back. So if you put your hands on this one, you will notice that there is no uh, manual that comes in the box. You need to scan that QR code and that will lead you straight to the user manual. So this is the RAM system 1000. So if you're looking for a simple uh, monitoring system to work with, maybe that would be a good option. Check it out. I'm going to leave the link down below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Until next time, take care and see you.